Uh, what I'm doing here today is I'm going to change uh, just four liters of transmission fluid. I thought I was going to have to drop the, drop the whole sump, uh, but I've got a um, sump bolt there, so it'll make the job even easier. I will have to at some stage change the gasket. I do have a gasket, but uh, looking at the job today and already getting into the afternoon, um, I'll leave that for a job for another day. Um, at the moment it's weeping from somewhere. I'll clean it up and I'll see if I can locate where it's weeping from. I might just give a tension up on those bolts too just to see if I can stop the leak for now. Um, but yeah, there's a, I've got to undo the gear shift and a few other bolts to get the dipstick out. That's all part of the transmission sump there. Now, I don't know if this is the same transmission that are um, uh, in other vans but that's the compliance plate there now I had the transmission changed five years ago and back then uh, the bloke said that um, he put a 2002 transmission in the van uh, I only had 55,000 Ks at the time um, so it's been pretty good to me um, but yeah this is long overdue I should have done this um, for probably a year and a half ago maybe two and a half years overdue anyway I'm going to do it now and um, I'm going to write down the kilometres when I'm finished too so I know exactly do another change I'm not doing a complete change I'm only doing a partial change uh, which should only four liters should come out and I'll put four liters back in and uh, I've got a clean container here that I'm gonna put it into and I'm going to um, measure it um, to make sure that I put the same amount back in before going anywhere else so um, yeah I'll get to that sump which looks like a probably a 5.8 bolt um, 16 mil but um yeah alright so I've had this um, drain overnight uh, purely because I got involved with my um, bull bar at the front and I left this alone so I'm um, just moved that container out of the way And uh, this bolt is 14 mil, not 516 like I thought at the beginning. It's a shame there's no magnet on this. I might see if I can find an old computer hard drive and pull it apart and put some magnets on the outside of this. Because I'll be doing a um, gasket change in the coming future. I'll be able to clean all the filings and stuff. Now, tight's tight with this because um, I can feel that when I'm touching it up to the stand that it's a soft metal. Um, so if I was to go too hard, then um, I'd thread it and I'd be in even bigger problems. So um, yeah, just tight's tight. Um, if you're not too sure, just give it a bit of attention. If you see that it leaks a little bit, just give it a, a notch more until she stops leaking but don't over tighten it otherwise you'll be in big dramas now we'll get this oil out and it's currently raining so it's going to get a couple of drops in I'm going to pull it out from under the van but um we'll have a look inside how good it is it's not looking real good right now as you can see the torch won't shine through it which is looking pretty brown so the gearbox is definitely going to love that I changed the oil and I think I'll um, do another oil change uh, very soon just to um, get some more new stuff in there because um, there's I think there's about um, 9 litres or something like that in the whole system I don't know, I'll have to look at the workshop manual but nonetheless you've got the transmission lines and what's in the radiator um, that doesn't end in, end in a torque converter that doesn't come out when you do this this is just from the sump so the new stuff is going to mix with the old stuff so I'm going to do another change and um, if it's still brown like that I'll do another change again after that just to get the transmission fluid looking um, 
healthier again. Just another thing before I put it in is the oil. Now I'm told that uh, from Toyota that because my uh, transmission came out with a mineral uh, transmission fluid that that's all I can use. I wanted to put a um, fully synthetic in and they said no that the van transmission came out with a mineral transmission fluid and uh, I would do damage to the transmission if I was to put anything else in. Okay so slow process but that's in now uh, three and a half litres thereabouts and uh, I can't test the van right now it's level because I'm parked in a driveway that's kind of like a slant um, but three and a half litres came out so I put three and a half litres back in and uh, I'll get somewhere later a bit flat and uh, check my levels alright I'm going to show you now the transmission fluid, fluid level and uh, mine's saying that it's just on hot there, I've only just stopped the van but again I'm parked in my driveway which is a bit of a lean if you want to do a cold, it can, there's two levels there for cold and hot so before starting the van um, if you want to check your fluid level and top it up that's the mark there at the bottom that's where it should be sitting uh, and you obviously add cold transmission fluid if it's hot, uh, remember that transmission fluid expands so when you put transmission fluid into your gearbox, don't take that as the first reading. You'll first have to go for a drive and warm the transmission up that you just added. Um, and then take another reading. So it's best to um, it's best to check it when it's cold and add, add when it's cold. But if you have to do it when it's hot, um, just remember that transmission fluid does expand. So um, you just want to add a little bit at a time. I have to go for a drive, check it again, and so forth. And there's plenty of other videos on YouTube explaining how to check your transmission fluid anyway. So um, I'll close this up now and uh, call it a day. Call it a day. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Um, I'll go to front bubble bar, one that I'm doing at the moment. Uh, front bull bar, I should say, not bubble bar. And um, plenty more to come still, I think. So... Till next time. Cheers.